Hey, coaches, got an awesome guest for you tonight. Seth Storr is uh, from Oberlin High School in Louisiana, and he's a man after my own heart. He's in single A down there. He is a, a little small school, 325 kids. He's been the offensive coordinator there for the past seven years. They're actually in the second round of the playoffs, so I appreciate you, Seth, for taking time out during the playoffs. Uh, Seth is a, a, a wing tee guy, and he is going to go over – uh, jet and jet counter for us. And uh, Seth, we're looking forward to it, man. I appreciate you being on here with us tonight, buddy. I appreciate it. You want to go ahead and uh, share your screen and, and start teaching us, man. We're ready to learn. One thing, I'm, I'm going to try this out. Can you see it? Yep. All righty. I'm going to go into a little PowerPoint coach. You got some diagrams and then we can go to some tape. Sounds perfect. All right, so the first thing, whenever we're grouping our plays, you know, we want to run. We want to have a counter or a misdirection. Usually we try to have one to the motion and away from the motion. Play action pass that looks just like the run. And then we'll have some tweaks, you know, to go along with it. some different calls and tags that we'll add to it. A lot of the stuff that we do, uh, Gibson Brothers of Pleasant Grove and uh, Carnegie Mellon's old coach, we got a lot of stuff from those guys. We kind of just tweaked it and made it fit, you know, our guys. So we just gonna go over to Overload Jet and then our, our favorite counter off of the Overload Jet, which is a little joker, is what we call it. Uh, nothing special about the Jet. We're gonna uh, move our F overload them and we just you know we're gonna run sweep a lot of uh a lot of people recently have been kind of asking how we get it to hit so fast and uh an old wing t guy kind of taught us the steps for the quarterback is pretty much the key for us is he's gonna pivot and push step we call it and we want to give it you know right at the guards uh outside foot you know we want to pivot as far as we can he's almost gonna slide like a quarterback in the gun would almost do when he's giving it on the jet. So is he gonna, Seth, is he gonna open to his left or to his right? He's gonna open to his right and he's gonna almost pretty much reverse out. And he's gonna, he's gonna pivot on the play side foot. He's gonna push off on that back side foot to where he ends up almost on the guards outside foot, the play side guard. It's almost like a slide step, a pivot in basketball, if you will is uh, kind of how it looks. And uh, the reason we do that is um, early on when we first started running this, it just wasn't hitting fast enough and our back was worried about not getting the ball so he wasn't going full speed. And so I ended up telling the back, it's never your fault if you don't get the ball. It is your fault if you're not going full speed. So do you want to be in trouble or you want the quarterback to be in trouble? You pick, it's up to you, but you're going full speed and it's the quarterback's job to push pivot and get you the ball at the mesh point. And uh, once we kind of did that, the Jets started working for us pretty good the past uh, three years. It's kind of when we started using it as a bread and butter of our offense. Um, so that's the Jet overload. We'll do it a couple different uh, ways. You know, we'll overload heavy. Uh, we'll move the fullback out a little bit. We'll run base, you know, with a Jet and we'll fake a uh, trap inside. But uh, today we're talking about the overload and the joker off of it. Uh, so here's the joker rules. Our right, tight end is going to go to linebacker. Play side tackle is going to pull in six, the last man on the line of scrimmage, whether it be a six or a nine, whatever it may be. So he's going to pull and kick. Play side guard is basically trap rules. So he's going A gap to linebacker. Center's on near man. <clears throat> Backside guard is going to check. Or play side tackle pulls three or wider. So that's basically your tackle trap. Quarterback's going to reverse out. It's going to look just like the jet. Halfback's going to lead up on linebacker. The F's going to counter step and take the handoff over the top. Um, so that's your rules. And we'll play with it a little bit. We'll have some calls. Sometimes it might end up being the uh, guard that's going to actually pull and trap. And the tackle will be the check man. Uh, but for the most part, we use the tackle. That's a trap guy. 
Here's a diagram versus an eye front. We see a lot of uh, shade five nine uh, or true 50 front, like old school back in the day, 50. And uh, when we get that, you know, they're getting that to kind of slow down the buck. And we know we're going to run jet and we're going to come back and run this off the jet most of the time. You see in the diagram, the tackle's trapping. The halfback's not really getting that deep. I just kind of have it drawn like that so you can see the direction he's going. It's not all cloudy right in there. Can you see that, Coach? Yep. And that's it. Uh, this is kind of a little bit different than your normal trap rules. The tight end goes to backer, and this tackle's going to block out. Um, it works kind of good uh, as far as angles go for us. And uh, that blocking scheme I got from Carnegie Mellon, they ran it out of an old red and blue set, and we just kind of took it and meshed it with our jet sweep package. We're looking for some – our best football player was our fullback. Uh, he was a senior this past season. He graduated. Uh, so he was starting at fullback as a sophomore for us. And we were running this overload sweep a lot. We had two fast wingbacks running overload sweep. But I wanted something to hit backside whenever this backside backer started scraping hard. And I didn't really have anything in at the time. And so I found that in an old Carnegie Mellon playbook and it ended up working pretty good for us. So that's kind of where the idea came from for this counterplay off the jet for us uh, versus the even front with the tackle pulling. Um, sometimes it's five. It's a long check guard right there, right? So sometimes that five coach, uh, we weren't making that block. So if that's happening, we'll make a call and the guard will be the trapper. And I think I have that drawn up as well. Uh, everything's really nothing's changing now. He's on the six instead of a nine. We laser motion faking the jet, running the counter back the other way. That's it. Right here, here's we got the call for the guard. Same exact thing, just a different guy trapping. Uh, so that's it right there, the diagram of the drawing of our joker off the jet. Uh, our favorite play action off of this, the little crack scene by the X. As soon as we see the free safety kind of fitting that, we'll throw the crack scene right there off the jet. So that's kind of when I say we group our plays. That's kind of how we group them. You know, we got our run, <clears throat> and we got our counter, and we got our play action. Uh, off the jet, we're able to run pretty much our entire offense. We'll run wham, we'll run belly, we'll run G. Um, out of either an overload set or our base look. So, Seth, against even, do you automatically use the guard? or is Not automatically, no, sir. Um, the, the first year we did it, we did, but this year um, – our, our left side tackles are our best player, and I want him trapping as much as I can. And my quick side guard, he's a good athlete, so he's able to make that check block, and he doesn't have to really get a good drive block on him. He's just got to get a piece of him. Um, and so I just trust that tackle. So this year, it's almost automatically going to be a tackle coach. Mm -hmm. So it varies from year to year, to be honest with you. Right. Um, that, that end right there, especially when we really get the jet rolling, he's almost, uh, you might see it on the tape, you might not. They'll start firing him straight outside, coach. He'll just start fighting outside immediately on motion. And uh, whenever they start doing that, we'll still run this joker, but then we'll run the quarterback wham right there, like the old belly would play would be hitting. Uh, what we do is we fake sweep with everybody. They follow their normal wham blocking rules or their belly rules, cross block it or uh, base it. And the, the halfback's still gonna insert. Fullbacks are basically an influence reach block way over here, and fake the jet and run the quarterback on the ISO. Uh, so that's another little wrinkle that we'll do. Like it. So, and that's it. Let's get to some clips, coach. Let's see if this will play. All this technology is kind of new for me. Can I zoom in on it, Coach? Would that work like that? Yep, perfect. All right, so this is versus a team in our district. It's a private school. They're, I think they went four and two this year. We're faking Jet, and you can see the tackle right here. He's running up the field. He's going to get a good trap. And that's it. We almost ran it identical in the same spot on the field twice that game. This was the first year we did it. This is about three years ago. Uh, 
I think you can see the gourd actually pulls on this one, Coach. Let's see. Pretty sure it's going to be the gourd coming around. They missed a the line. They didn't even have a five tech on this one, so it ended up being a seal, seal. Yeah, so the guard pulls on that one. Seal, seal. Now you'll see you got a little trap. Halfback leads up. I'll run that back for you. So what happens right here is that a tight end should be going to backer. See the out block by the tackle right there. They're kind of not used to seeing that tackle block out on the play side. That was a bad fake by that guy right there. What a great block by the tackle. Let's run that back. Kind of a lazy fake. Ended up being a seal. Saw so there's nobody trapped. That's like a, during the play coach, nobody trapped, it's an automatic turn up and seal. I don't know if you saw that. Kind of on the fly adjustment for him. Same thing on that one right there. That was a different play. That's our double fold off the jet. Film was kind of like, here it is again. This will be the joker. Decent fake, good kick out, escort block. He kind of does something stupid right there. He goes and hits the guy in the back. He didn't need to do that. Lights went out this game. This was a playoff game a couple of years ago. Real cloudy, nasty weather. Back. Seth, can you pull up a couple of just the overload uh, jet? Yes, sir. Give me a second. I got our huddle pulled up, and I'll I'll pull up. Um, let me see. Belly sleep, boots, buck, counter, equals, sweeps. This is gonna be um. A bunch of sweet variations, coach. There'll be some jets and some tosses. Let me get you to some jets. Here you go. All right. So this is a uh, this is a heavy jet. See the wing back has a great that one up. Can you hit big screen? Yeah, on? I got you, coach. Yes, sir. Let me uh give me one second. This is jet to the boundary. We'll do this just to kind of keep them honest so they can't play the field quite as much. We really like power to the boundary, coach. That's probably our favorite play to the boundary. This is that, this is that team you first saw the Joker on. This is a funny story, coach. So uh, we ran this play. Can you run Got that one back? Yes, sir. So. We run this play in the game. It gets called for holding. See that that's the tight end on the backside, making a block all the way down the field to the weak side. So that, that's a great job by 10 right there. And uh, our line coach kind of teaches that, that uh, reach, one arm reach block. If, if you can't really get around to that play side shoulder, just get an arm in front of them. So you'll see right here, you couldn't even tell that was two different clips. So we'd call for holding on this one. You can see the tackle right there. He does a good job on it. Kid scores. And me and the head coach are talking. He's like, well, we can maybe do the jet pass. Or the coach is like, we can do the counter. And then I'm like, well, let's just run the same play. We just got 70 yards. Surely we can get 15. And he scores again the very next play. <laughs> This is an old, this is an old, old clip right here from probably six years ago when we first started running it. 
we weren't overload on that one to um, fake the trap, I think. And what are you what are you telling your guy? Is it just hash number sideline? Hash number sideline, circle the field. Um, what they'll get taught eventually, what we try to get them to do is they're gonna read the uh, the opposite wings block. So if he blocks them out like that kid did right there, that's not a very good job. That was a great job blocking, but he blocked them out. He didn't hook them. Uh, so he cut it up right there on that one. I'm gonna, I'll uh, run that back for you. So you can see at the point of attack, he should be on his tracks getting to that outside shoulder. Well, he ends up blocking them straight on and kind of kicking them out, so to speak. So the halfback sees that butt, makes a cut right there. Uh, so that's kind of what we're teaching the backs, coach. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah. Um, let me see if I can find one. One of my favorite plays. This one might be it right here. Watch the center. That's our center. He also started a middle linebacker for us. He's a good ball player. Not very big. Oh, this ain't it. That was a good job on that one too. Do you guys uh do you call this down on the goal line much? Um yeah, we do. I think I run toss more on the goal line, coach, to the fullback, to be honest with you. But yes, we do call it a good bit on the goal line. Uh you can see the tackle right there does a great job circling the man, getting to his outside shoulder. This is the play, I think, right here. You got the center, he's gonna stay on his tracks, and he just stays on his tracks all the way to the free safety. Nope, this ain't it either, coach. Lied to you. It's a verse that team, though. I know that. We ran a sweep a hundred times this game. This is it. Watch the center. On his tracks, no threat, staying on his tracks. Oh, there he is. It's good effort right there. Good block by the wing back. Fullbacks in the overload set. He didn't do a great job. So your jet guy gives a little ground for that. Uh... For yeah, kind of the step. Yes, sir. What do you right call when it? He gets the ball, he's gonna, it ain't gonna be a much. Right when he gets the ball, he'll kind of arc a little bit. And uh, number two is a special back. He, I mean, he's a four or five guy, which is really fast for us. Are you just trying to teach your fastest guy how to run this jet? Um, yeah, he ran, that kid ran power a lot for us. And his cousin was our other wing. He's our fullback this year, actually. And uh, he was probably our second fastest guy. Usually we like our best football player to be the fullback coach, our best running back to be the halfback. And then our wing back is kind of a home run hitter. You know, he gets the counters and he gets the jet sweep. So he really needs to be able to run. And I'm noticing your slot guy's a little removed. I'm used to yes. seeing wing T guys. He's up tight on that tackle. You talking about this cat here? Yeah. Yeah. And so this is a uh, this is a right slot formation. If he was in base or base formation, he'd be a lot tighter, like he's saying. So this is a called slot, and that just gives us a twins look. And we're probably just they're probably in man, and we're trying to reduce the box a little bit or something. Uh, this was a Johnsboro Hodge in the second round a couple of years ago, and they were. They were good, they were big, and they were athletic. And we act, we upset them, and then we ended up losing to Oak Grove in the quarters. Uh, to run the jet, do you like them? Do you like them removed like that? Or do you like I don't. Them? I usually like them tight. The, tight uh, the, the wider we run, the tighter I like everybody to be. Okay. Uh, so I lied to you, Coach. This is not that game. This is uh, probably five years ago in uh, our first round game. I don't remember the name of this team. They played not real fundamentally sound defense. And, uh, but back then I was going to this slot look a lot. That was kind of before I learned, I like my guys tighter when I want to run outside. I was still kind of learning right here. Um, but um, sometimes we'd crack both of them and seal with the fullback. Let's see. Yeah, so they went in and the fullback went out right there. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, that was a slot formation. And that's it. Well, brother, I appreciate it, man. We trade it right here. We do the same thing. We trade it, outflanked them. They didn't slide. Can you run Simple that one back? Slide. Yes, sir. So we start off in a what we call blue slot. And we walk them over. They don't adjust. And we get a we get the edge. That was a good job of that tight end right there, getting his butt to the hole. That's something we kind of tell the guys, get your butt to the hole on the sweep. We don't need a big block. We just need you to kind of get in the way, you know. Um, that's another reason we went to the sweep so much. We're always going to be smaller than the team we play as far as up front. We're never very big, but we're always pretty fast. And uh, one of the things, we went to Pleasant Grove, he was like minimal blocking. So when he said that, that kind of clicked and registered for us. And uh, that was one of the reasons we went to it as well. It just need one or two blocks. So that's a sweep in the Joker, Coach. Um, before you go, I can show you a couple of the play action clips if you want to real quick. Yeah. Jet pass. There it is. That's the stick. This is this year. Let me run that back. So usually what we do is a crack seam over here. You can see the receiver kind of sit it down. That's what we call our stick. Kind of just turns into a curl flat. It was open. My quarterback's like, coach, I couldn't see. He's about 5'3". He couldn't see the curl route. Uh, here's a jet, crack. They walk the free safety up. 17's a really good receiver for us. He was uh, hurt the past three games, but he'll be back for this one, so we're fired up. This is last year's team in the second round of the playoffs. I was the state champion hurdler. Who was that on the wheel there? Was that the F or was that That's the, the uh, I'll run that back for you, Coach. That's the uh, H. Okay. So our halfbacks, he's either going to run a flat or what we call a special, which is our, uh, our wheel route. You got the jet fake, the fullback's gonna step up, kind of take inside out any trash. State runner up javelin makes it makes it easier when you have kids like that for sure. Pretty good fake rolling over, but he didn't finish it right there. So he was good on the fake. Didn't finish it. Good catch by that kid. Uh, this will be a post, I think, instead of the crack scene. Yeah, special's wide open. Here on that special back. Special is when you're calling the wheel. The rail. Yeah, that's the rail, Coach. I'm sorry. Yeah, so that rail were out. I mean, he he's wide open. Quarterback knew he was throwing two from Jump Street on this one. You could tell. I think we have his right at 38 yards of uh, – Completion last year, coach. This team kept over and over again. They did a good job uh, calling our overloads all night, but the free safety, he was fitting so fast. There's just no way he's going to be able to cover the, uh, the play action pass. You can see that. I mean, he's just, he did it the whole game. 
Yeah, it's cheating when a good jet team runs play action off that thing. Coach, it's nasty. That that play we also got from Pleasant Grove, and it's been huge for us. He is a special on this one, finally. Yeah, that thing's been. That up. was probably the most covered one too, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> That kid, number six, is our halfback this year. He was a backup last year. He kind of played receiver and halfback for us. So. That's, bad. that's it, Coach. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate you, man, especially uh, taking time after uh, out of your time, out of your schedule during the playoffs. But uh, I tell you, a lot of people are going to uh, – I'm going to be stealing this stuff from you. Uh, uh, I stole your, uh, are you on Twitter? I am on Twitter, yes, sir. What, what's your handle? I think it's Coach Store. Okay. Yes, sir. I'll put it, uh, I'll put it in the notes because I'm sure people are going to want to get up with you after the playoffs are over. So Buddy, I, I appreciate you coming on, and uh, I, I believe you're pretty dang good at running this, this whole Jet series. We – we try, Coach. I can tell you that. We're uh, we always trying to find new wrinkles and mix and match and kind of make it mesh to our players each year. And I think the past three years, we kind of found our identity and, and what works for us. Well, it so. definitely looks that way. You got some dang, to be such a small school, you got some players too, man. Man, we have speed every year, Coach. We do have that. We do have speed. Uh, like I said, we're usually a little bit smaller, but we're usually pretty fast. Now, I'm going to tell you, the uh, receiver right here in the video that you can see, mm -hmm. he's uh, he's getting a couple of looks right now. He's a sophomore. Uh, they're uh, calling for him at tight end, a lot of teams. I say a lot of teams, a couple of schools. Yeah. Well, he's so, a good-looking kid. Yeah, we lost a game a couple of weeks ago where if we had him, it's, it's a lot better uh, for us. You could We could definitely tell we were hurting without him out there on both sides of the ball. So he plays weak side in, free safety and receiver. <laughs> so that's, that tells you his versatility and how small we are. We, we kind of move him around depending on who we're playing. Well, that's that's good when you got one, you can move around. Yep, that's right. Yes, sir. Buddy, I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. You have a great night.